Good evening. It's Tuesday, March 24, 2020 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim and here's all you need to know in Newsbiz tonight. A total of nine samples tested for the novel coronavirus at the Vicente Sota Memorial Medical Center Subnational Laboratory are now awaiting confirmatory tests from the Research Institute for Tropical Medicine. Here's Chari Coronel for the details. Six more samples tested for novel coronavirus at the Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center Sub-National Laboratory are awaiting confirmatory tests from the Research Institute for Tropical Medicine in Muntinlupa City. This bring the total number of samples awaiting for confirmatory tests from the RITM to nine. Department of Health Central Visayas Director Jaime Bernada says a total of 31 new samples were taken during the second batch of testing at the VSMMC Sub-National Laboratory. Of the 31 samples, 25 have tested negative, while 6 still have to undergo confirmatory test. Last Monday, Bernada said one of the first four samples taken from patients under investigation for COVID-19 at the VSMMC testing center that were sent to the RITM tested negative for COVID-19. He added that unless the result for the three remaining samples first sent to RITM for confirmation arrive, the six new samples will remain for confirmation. The first COVID-19 positive patient in Cebu, who is confined in Chongwa Hospital in Mandawi City, is set for discharge already. As of Monday, there are 23 persons with severe acute respiratory infection in the region, while 304 persons have influenza-like illnesses. Of the 304 persons with influenza-like illnesses, 288 are under home isolation, while 16 are admitted at hospitals. The region also has a total of 14,662 patients under monitoring for COVID-19, while 183 were discharged. Meanwhile, the total number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the country rose to 552 as of 4 p.m. Tuesday. DOH reported two new recoveries, bringing the total number to 20. Patients who recovered are patient 130, a 21-year-old female Filipino from Davao de Oro who had travel history from United Kingdom and Qatar, and patient 87, a 76-year-old female Filipino from Quezon City. There are also two additional deaths, bringing the total number of mortalities to 35. The two were identified as patients 215 and 239. Chari Coronel, News Beats Tonight. The Land Transportation Office in Central Visayas will apprehend motorcycle drivers with back riders as part of the social distancing policy implemented amid the prevailing threat of the novel coronavirus disease. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. Motorcycle drivers with back riders will now be apprehended. This was the pronouncement of Land Transportation Office in Central Visayas, in line with the social distancing policy implemented by the Department of Transportation to all public and private vehicles amid the prevailing threat of coronavirus disease. Land Transportation Office Central Visayas Director Victor Kainde clarified that drivers will still be apprehended even if the back rider is their immediate family. Violators will be issued a temporary operator's permit and will be fined 5,000 pesos. Kaindek added that they won't impound the motorcycle, but they will confiscate the driver's license. Last March 18, back riding of immediate family members were allowed, provided that the back rider will present an identification card as proof of the relationship to the driver. Meanwhile, since the social distancing policy was implemented, the Land Transportation Franchising Regulatory Board Central Visayas has apprehended 77 public utility vehicle drivers. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. More stories in Newsbits Tonight after this short break. The Cebu City Government will waive parking fees of medical and health workers until the general community quarantine is lifted in the city. 
Here's Chad Coronel for the details. As a support to the frontliners of the coronavirus disease pandemic, Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella has ordered to temporarily waive parking fees for medical and health workers in the city. Under Labella's executive order, parking fees will be waived for employees of the Department of Health, medical and health workers of hospitals under the DOH, local government units hospitals, and Cebu City Health Department. Also included are private health workers but not limited to medical professionals, hospital administrative staff, and aides from private health facilities, as well as their service providers, health workers, and volunteers of the Philippine Red Cross and the World Health Organization. Nabelia says medical and health workers should present their company ID as a proof that they are working in a hospital or medical field. Meanwhile, Labelia issued another executive order directing business process outsourcing, knowledge process outsourcing firms, and export-oriented industries to fully implement business contingency measures starting March 29 as a precautionary measure against COVID-19. The order states that a contingency measure may include temporary accommodation and transportation of its employees within 2 kilometer radius from the workplace, ensure that the employees who work within the premises are provided with basic supplies in their respective pantries for those employees who work within the premises. Chari Coronel, News Beats Tonight. For the latest in sports, here's Kenneth Torres. The Tokyo Olympic torch relay will start Thursday as planned in northeastern Fukushima Prefecture, but with no torch, no torch bearers, no public and little ceremony. However, there will be an Olympic flame which arrived last March 12 from Greece. It will be carried in a lantern and transported by a vehicle along roadsides. Organizers hoped that roadsides will be empty with curious onlookers practicing social distancing to avoid spreading the coronavirus. The Tokyo Games and Relay have been caught uncertain since International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach said four weeks are needed to decide a postponement of the planned opening on July 24. It was said that the new name to replace Torch Relay will be Torch Visits. As of Tuesday, Japan had 1,128 confirmed cases of coronavirus disease, 42 of which have died. Kenneth Torres, News Bits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lynn. Good evening.